single right now. Trap Sang is out right now. Um, it's doing pretty well. And I got another single that's been playing on WPGC and KYS uh, called the Back End Remix. Shout out for this two times. Yeah, yeah. One second, one second, one second. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to cut you off. I want you to keep flowing. But is that going to be the single that you perform for us tonight? Yeah, for sure. Okay, okay, for sure. okay, okay. I'm excited. Go oh, ahead and keep definitely. going. Oh, definitely. So, um, yeah, man, I mean, let's just fast forward a quick, quick, quick synopsis right there. It's because I know we show it on time, you know what I'm saying? But for sure. And shout out, big, big shout out, big shout out, man, to all the people from a small little country in Central America called Panama. You know what I'm saying? That's where my brother and my father are from, you know what I'm saying? So shout out to my dogs from Panama. Y'all do how we feel, baby. Yo. I love it. I love it. For sure. So, okay. So, Tito, I let you pretty much spit everything you wanted to spit. Yeah. But I have a few questions myself. Oh, yeah. And, Nigga, I'm not sure what you. Okay. All right. So, can you elaborate on how long you've been an artist? And how did you get involved in music and what inspired you? I'm going to go ahead and give you three questions in one. Cool. Um, I'm going to try to remember the best I can. And that's fine. I can definitely <laughs> repeat them. Um, pretty much uh, started out when I was a young boy, man. Um, thankfully in Miami, Florida, I was blessed to be around some inspirational people at the same time. So somebody up there must like me. Um, I love the way you talk by yourself, though. That little talk, that little accent, though. <laughs> uh, it's something y'all familiar with. Um, I'm going to try to remember the best I can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, if some of y'all familiar with a dude named JT Money, he had the song called Who There Who There Who Was So Late. You know what I'm saying? That's like my uncle right there. That's family. He basically seen me as a young boy at a talent show, put me under his wing, took me around different places, um, and then shot the TWD trick at a dollar. You know what I'm saying? He's a, he from my neighborhood, so I was able to come up on the trick and ride with trick to certain shows and so forth like that to see how they do it and learn how to be a professional at a young age. So that was dope for real. Yo. So basically, he inspired, he inspired you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. For sure, for sure. And so, you didn't say how long you've been an artist, though. I've been an artist for at least about 10 plus, I okay. would say. You know what I'm saying? Professionally for at least about 10 plus. Can you yeah. dance, too, or you just be rapping? Can you dance, too? <laughs> I ain't a dancer, man. Well, you got dancers. Which one is it? I ain't a dancer, man. Ain't I might two-step a little bit, but I ain't dancing too much. So, you, no. you be on there, on the mic? Yeah, bop, yeah, just about, bop, yeah, bop. yeah, I'm gonna give you a bop. Bop. This is just a good bop. Like That's that. about it, yeah, just like that. Yeah. Okay, okay, I like it, I'm feeling it. So, okay, so Tito, what, what are your goals? What are your short-term and long-term goals as an artist? Good question. Um, pretty much. Just to uh, short term and long term, but pretty much two in the same. Um, I would say uh, to just establish a lane for myself independently um, that I'm able to sustain the lifestyle that I want to sustain and do everything that I want to do. You know what I'm saying? Um, I like that. I like that. Pretty much. Yeah. I know that it's like different tiers of the game, you know, and you got your A list and your B list and your C list. I ain't tripping on that one. I'm trying to get in where I fit in and just do my thing and fit in. Yes, I like yeah, that. Sure. I like that. So that what made you come to, what made you leave Miami and come here to start your career? Because Miami is so much more, yeah. you know, open. There's so many artists there. so much more going on there. Like D.C., you know, our, our local artists here kind of stay here and get stuck a little bit. And there's no one really here to help promote them or manage them Great the way they should be. Great question, Mama. Um, well, crazy as it was back in the early 2000s, it was a tad different, right? Um, in the early 2000s, you actually got a chance to hear DMV artists on the radio. You know what I'm saying? They actually had some uh, 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 DC home jams on PGC. I was on them. You know what I'm saying? They played my song on there. So, you know, when you got things like that and outlets like that, whereas in Miami, the only outlet we had was Uncle Luke. And like she alluded to, if you weren't dancing and shaking ass, it wasn't really too much you're going to do on Luke Records, you know? And a lot of people was having a lot of uh, legal disputes with Luke about money. So it, he, he was the only game in town, you know what I mean? You come up here to the DMV where 
it, it, it's just like how, you know, you have something, but you don't really appreciate it totally. You feel me? Like, y'all was the first ones to start out having BET Network. You did what I'm saying? A TV network of black folk. You did what I'm talking about? I used to watch that as a kid. Joe Clare, Donnie Simpson, Prince Dejour. You did what I'm saying? So, like, for that, you looking at that from Miami, like, damn, it's a network of black folk that got their own damn station. That would have been to be You did what I'm saying? So, yeah, for sure. And um, beyond that, I mean, a lot of famous people definitely came through here and been a part of here. Chucky Thompson, you know, it's about, um, definitely uh, a lot of producers that have been in and out the area, you know, so here looks like a great place to be. You're four hours away from New York, two hours away from Philly. You know what I'm saying? You can touch a little bit of everything. North Carolina down the street, you know what I'm talking about? So you can do a little bit of anything. You know what I'm talking about? That's yeah. a great farm. For sure. For sure. Shout out to the farm. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay, so Tito, can you tell us a few things? I got a few more questions. You good. Um, so I also know that you also are an actor. Yes, ma'am. You have actually been an actor in a film that I was starring in, so Correct. I know you from there. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so let's talk about that. So are you going to continue to acting yes, and also being an artist as well? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Appreciate that. Um, okay. Good segue. I like the way you spun that in. Y'all, yeah, uh, please, um, hold on, Tito, one second. Y'all, please, can we keep it down just a tad bit so we can hear exactly what Tito is saying? Like, we know we all excited to see each other. We all excited for this good old artist that we got over here, but we want to hear what he got to say. So can we please keep it down just a tad bit, please, y'all? But um, shout out to Roosevelt for sure, man. Yes, uh, District Queens, you did a great job yes, in District Queens as well. You know what I'm saying? Uh, for Thank sure, you. I was in District Queens as well. I was uh, blessed to be in one of Roosevelt's other films, Residue Part One and Residue Part Two. Okay. Um, so definitely acting has been something I've been a part of uh, in my fast forward of my biography, I guess it's called. Okay. Um, I went to uh, School of the Arts when I was in high school, you feel me? What school of the arts? What's the name of it? It's in Miami. Um, oh, it's in Miami. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's in yeah, Miami. Miami. But it was uh, for art and theater. Um, I mean, for theater and music. Uh, so I did some acting from the folks, you feel me? So um, definitely continuing it. Uh, blessed to have a role in a movie coming out starring uh, Trey Cheney. Uh, I do uh, Brandon that's on Wildin' Out, Big Homie okay. with the Dreads. And um, another dude that uh, he about to be on tour here with uh, D. Rain, I mean, to be a comedian, uh, Mojo Brooks. If you if you looking at him on the gram, Mojo Brooks, light skinned dude, look just like D. Rain from Chicago. Uh, but it's called a Naughty Christmas. It's coming out Christmas, definitely a Naughty Christmas. Yeah, for sure. Look out for this. It's holiday. So are you performing in there or are you just strictly an actor in there? Yeah, I'm just acting in there. Okay. Yeah, 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 for sure. So because you got two songs, we, we want to get you with one song real quick, real quick. Okay. So we get you with one real quick and we're going to bring you right back. Question before Absolutely. Yeah. Fire, so baby. the movie that you're playing in for Christmas, are you going to try to get them to play your music on the soundtrack? Yes, ma'am. Good, good thing that you said that. Um, you know what I'm saying? The uh, thing that I'm into for sure uh, as an artist, you know, you got to know the rules and know the business and licensing is one of them. So. My music has been featured in a couple of films already. It's definitely going to be featured in that one as well, for sure. Okay. Yes, ma'am. We're, we're definitely coming back because I got two more questions for Tito. Or we can get these three. Yeah, let's Pick get these three. She got one. Wait, so we can do that. No, 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 no. We can do. We, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, so we can yeah, do, I can ask you. I don't want to keep the wheels rolling. Okay, so. that's cool. So I can ask my two questions. Yeah. And pick a boo, I'm going to let her go first because since she said she only got one. Okay. <laughs> oh, I got one right here. There you go. Oh, this one. You got to hit the, you turn it off. I knew that, Dingo. Don't do that. <laughs> okay, so I've had this waiting in the cup. Okay. <laughs> So as an independent, established artist, yes, what are your strengths and weaknesses? What question. helps keep you 
relevant for the hip hop today? Good like, question. What do you do? Great question. I see you work on that. I like that. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, what keeps me going, um, I want to say, is I'm addicted to the game. Um, okay. I've been doing it for a long time. I'm just addicted to the game. I love music. Um, I love interacting with people like what I'm doing right now with y'all. Okay. I like building. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, I like that. So it, it's it's a part of the culture at the same time. I would say uh, weaknesses. We all have. We all have. Definitely. Definitely. Um, I would say that I can be more consistent. Um, okay. Even though some people may say that I'm consistent already, I would say that I can be more consistent. Um, I definitely can. Uh, I can push myself further than what I am pushing myself right now. Type of vibe. You know, I think sometimes we get a little complacent after working to a certain level, and you start getting to a level. So you know, you gotta re-talk to yourself in the mirror and tell yourself, hey man, pick it up and you know things that I, I wanna do I do want to really know that because you have different levels of artists. Correct. Artists that's art, like drawing artists, yeah. artists that's singing artists, Correct. all different type of artists. So yeah. I always wanted to know what an artist just, you know, with their strengths and their weaknesses, yeah. what keeps you going? Because I have to find motivation free. So, yeah. I just wanted to have a little For sure. Great question. Great question. For sure. What do you mean by consistent? Um, consistent just in the sense of you do things, but you can do more. You know okay. what I'm saying? Um, okay. With anything. Right. With you everything. Like something you're doing is not enough. You know yeah. what I mean? Um, yeah. It's times that I probably can be more places and attend more things that I need to, but I don't because I may choose or elect to do something else. So I may just feel a little comfortable where I'm at right now. I don't feel like moving, you know what I'm saying? So things of that nature that I got to really just be disciplined with because in this game, as she said, as an independent, I don't have anybody pushing me. I'm pushing myself, you know? So I got to be on top of myself, pause. You know, to let myself know if I'm slacking, I need to step that shit up. If I'm bullshit, I need to get it right. If you're doing good, it ain't good enough. You know, just keep that mentality so you stay on top of your game. So, who does your music? Like, do you, do you have. Oh, y'all got the questions today. Yeah, yeah. We, we got time today. That's what's up, man. Um, shoot, uh, thankfully, I was blessed to work with a lot of uh, platinum producers in the game. You know what I'm saying? Um, one by the name of Cash Money AP. Uh, for those of y'all that heard, um, he did some of Pop Smoke music. He did some of the Beagles music. Uh, Future, everybody. Um, I was blessed. Yeah, rest in peace to Pop. You know what I'm saying? And actually, Pop is from the same country that my people is from. They from Panama too. So yeah, for sure. Man. Rest in peace to Pop, man. Um, and I was able to work with um, a dude by the name of KE on the track. Uh, he did You the Boss for Nicki Minaj and Rick Ross. He did, yeah, he did Magic for Future. Uh, he did um, All the Way Turned Up, Roscoe Dash. Uh, so, yeah, you know, um, I've been blessed to work with some, some good producers and then some from the local area, you know what I'm saying, for sure. Okay, so. Is he gonna do some magic with you? <laughs> <laughs> who, who you mean? Oh yeah, K E, yeah, 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 he yeah, definitely. Um actually the single that's great question again, the single that's out that was on B E T Jams, Ain't No Waiting, is produced by K E. You know what I'm saying? And actually Trap saying my new single is produced by K E. For sure. Yeah. Okay. So because we on time right now, yeah, and yeah. I, I wanna definitely get these three little 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 questions in there real okay. quick, real, 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 real quick. Okay. So I want to ask, are there any upcoming performances that you want to announce to our audience? Part two to that question, I want to you to share your social media information with our audience. Okay. And I hate to do this to you, but because you're an artist, yeah. I have to. I have to ask because our audience be wanting to know certain stuff. Okay. I see a ring on that finger, yeah. so I just want to ask about the and you know what you can yeah. plead the fifth. You definitely can if you want to. We ain't gotta talk about it, but because I see it, I'm gonna ask. Okay. I see a ring, yeah. and I'm just asking: yeah. Are you 
Are you married or in a situation engaged with going on? Okay. I don't need to plead the fifth. I'm, I'm proud. I'm in I'm in a married for I'm married. Yeah. I'm proud. Yeah. 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 Divas Inc., the, the 18th annual car, truck, and bike show, man. Shout out to Beat with Divas Inc. Uh, she puts together a great show all the time. Uh, she has fans out there. Um, last couple years, back them been there. JY them been there. Uh, Where is it? Where is it? It's it is. It's going to be at Gino's Ballpark. For y'all that Gino's. know, it's over there off of Wayson's Corner, off of Route 4. Yeah. Just drive Route 4. See Wayson's Corner turn off of that. It's a place called Gino's Ballpark. She also, she also has DMV and Beyond where they have an overnight zone where they be having the campus come out and a whole little scene out there. So yeah, it's gonna be real nice out there June the 3rd. Make sure y'all come out there for sure. And um, this Saturday, I'm gonna be- I'm loud over there, what's going on? It's good, it's good. We can't, we can't get Tito on the liquor. This Saturday, I'm gonna be in Miami, uh, King of Diamonds, going back home. I'm gonna be producing at the, uh, performing at the KOD this Saturday. So yeah, shout out to MIA Trail 5. I'm coming home to the crib. I'm gonna see y'all in a minute. For yes. sure. Yeah. Hold on, I, I gotta add one more question. Yes, ma'am. Do you ever get nervous when you perform it and you did not include your social media information? Ah, okay. Um, nerves, uh, I mean, it's a part of the game, I guess, you know what I'm saying? When you perform and you're acting, you're doing anything, yeah. but it's nothing like something that will stop you from doing whatever you got to do, you feel me? So, yeah. nah. Uh, it, ain't, it ain't nothing that, that you worry about in that capacity. And social media, for all y'all that's on socials, IG, IG. Follow me on IG, Twitter. Follow me on IG and Twitter. It's T I T O S T A R R. T I T O S T A R R on IG and Twitter. T O Star with two R's. Yeah. Hold on. I did. I lied. I got one more question. One more. You good? One more. You good? How can we talk like that? I love that little accent. I want to talk like already. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, don't worry about it. It's just like I when, want it. When, I people, like it. when people come up here, they be like, they like how y'all say curry and lurry and hurry. They like that shit. They be like y'all sound real cute with that shit. Yeah, so yeah, it's the yeah. same thing for sure. Okay, yeah, I like it for sure. So Tito, we. On behalf of the Ladies of the China Think Talk Show, we appreciate you taking today time out to come interview with us today. We are excited to see your two performances tonight with your two yes, song. Thank you. And whenever you're ready to get busy, let's go. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I appreciate y'all. Back in remix first, boss. I appreciate y'all for having me. Thank y'all once again. Absolutely. Yes, indeed. This is not the last time we're going to see each other, God willing. Not at all. For sure.